Welcome back to the Terrible Old Man. I am your host, the man from Leng. We are playing the Sinking City. Last episode, we uh, just discovered the uh, the hidden lab where we believe that uh, is Usha's hideout, possibly, or it will lead us to Usha's hideout, which is apparently underwater. So uh, let's explore this area and see uh, see if we can't. Uh, we're getting lots of springs. Getting lots of goodies. There's bound to be monsters in here. Oh, God, Jesus. Beat him to death with my. Oh jeez, there's more. Um, let's just do that. Oh, how did you do that? How did you survive a grenade blast? Uh, let's use this one. Well, there were only two. That's nice. Not sure. So. Oh, there were three. Ooh. What's going on here? Whatever happened in this lab, it has nothing to do with normal science. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery. Octarium ad vitam pireschi. The essential salts of animals may be so prepared and preserved that an ingenious man may have the whole Ark of Noah in his own study and raise the fine shape of an animal out of its ashes at his pleasure, and by the Ike method from the essential salts of human dust, a philosopher may, without any criminal necromancy, call up the shape of any dead ancestor from the dust whereinto his body has been incinerated. Borelis. Alright, well. What else is there? Alchemist's journal. Materialization successful. Had to burn subject with acid to make talk. Who could imagine the entrance was the crypt? Materialization successful. Hard to understand the deceased. Dialect is very old and he knows nothing about stopping madness. Raymond found the mummy I was after, but she refuses to discuss Cathigonar or madness. Even acid didn't help. This Dane Raymond wants his gold, but she remains silent. Told me I'm not K-chosen. We must try harder. Usha may wish for death, but as long as I have her essential salts, I can revive her. There will be no escape from the pain. Oh, so our buddy Hill is a total jerk. Uh, it looks like it contains ashes mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. Okay, so we know that Hill... Hill summoned Usha, or they got Usha's body, and he's basically been torturing her for information or whatnot. So, uh, we still need another metal scrap before we can do that. So, mind's eye, maybe? Uh, I don't really 
see anything crazy that might actually... Oh, there was something in the... So... So where um, maybe there's something downstairs in that lab we can look at. Like in here. thought it was like the corpse. Hell revived the dead for answers. Joseph Hell resurrected Usha and others to learn about the madness emanating from Kathiganar. Yeah, so she seems less and less like a... Usha told Hill nothing. Usha was tortured by Joseph Hill, but told him nothing because he is not a seed. Okay. What does that lead us to? We go back and see Hill now? Someone wounded really wanted to get inside this room. Uh, there must be a way in that room then, eh? Climb through the glass. Oh, there we go. Do 
Is that it? You gotta be serious. Kinda looks like a face, doesn't it? With a mouth and teeth. Okay, okay, so now... And it was upstairs, wasn't it? We got in, how do we get out? Alright, so it's upstairs. We triggered the thing. You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy damn har or seals. Well, that's probably the first, the first one. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! Okay. Hey, you broke the ceiling circles. Time to figure this out. So they were upstairs. He wanted him to do something. You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy damn har or seals. So then they were here. He breaks the, s the circle. You broke the s Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. Stop! She has something to say. Raymond? I was looking for you. Oh, come on. Come on, game. You don't need to hurt her. She knows what you want. She can offer a deal. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha, but now you're her messenger. Why the about face? She took this body as her vessel. She doesn't want to frighten you. Well, using a man as a puppet is still creepy, Usha. Tell me more about what the deal. What are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend into the depths, into the shell. She knows the way. I need to enter to stop the madness. If you tell me how to do it, I won't pursue you. Generous. She has another offer. Help her, and she will tell you how to meet your destiny. Okay, what do you want me to do? Go kill Hill? What exactly am I supposed to do? Kill Sorcerer. Joseph. He does not let her rest. He will pursue and enslave her once again. Why didn't you just tell all this to Joseph? could have just told Joseph what he wanted. What difference would it have made? The Sorcerer does not deserve these gifts. He is guided by pride and greed. She waited for the K Chosen to appear. And here you are, marked, tied up by fate. She sees it in your eyes, wide shut. Why should I kill Joseph? And why do you keep calling him a sorcerer? He woke her up, plundered her body, forced her to breathe once more, cut her, pierced her, burned her kept her in chains you want revenge she wants freedom no freedom while the sorcerer lives what would you do when free what will you do after you're free live if i do what you ask where will we meet among the stone fingers in the garden of the dead oh can't you just tell it straight 
I've had enough riddles for a lifetime. She believes your mind is not that weak. Yeah, sure. After everything I've seen in this laboratory, I'm on your side. She will wait for you. So, yeah, that was really weak game. I just have to say that it's like I do all this and then he's suddenly standing beside me. Really? Like, okay. I guess that's the most expedient way. All right. Um... I think we want. Hill betrayed Raymond. Hill hired Raymond as a body snatcher to bring him Usha's corpse, but when she got free, Hill abandoned Raymond. So Hill can be my ally to help me get inside Cathiganar. We share the same goal, stopping the spread of Magnus. Hill is just using me to deal with Usha, not like, just like he used Raymond. He is not a man who can be trusted. Exactly. That's what I think. Usha will help me if I kill Hill. Usha wants revenge on Hill, but can't do it herself. She promised me the secrets of Katiganar Kath as a reward if I help. Usha won't tell me anything. Usha's proposal is a trap. She could wait for me just to kill Hill, then refuse to give me anything about Katiganar. I think she will tell me. Sure, why not? Hill must be killed. While Usha would need to continue feeding on oak monsters, she knows firsthand how to enter Katiganar. Hill is a mad alchemist and cannot be trusted. She betrayed Raymond and lied to me before. I need to kill him to prove to Usha I'm on her side. Yeah. Usha's hides underwater in her tome. The entrance is in the cemetery, marked with five finger-shaped stones. This is exactly what Joseph Hill asked me to find out. All clues for the current case have been found. Hill's a sorcerer and a badass. Yeah, I was gonna shoot you. Give me a break. Um, let's go back and deal with Hill, I guess. Where is he? He was up here somewhere, wasn't he? Oh, 
Alright, so we're going to track downhill here. So maybe we'll get this done before we... And then we'll find Usha. We can go to Usha's tomb. Maybe we'll kill Usha too, so she doesn't like... Eat people. Or eat more people, I should say. I thought I set him up for the crime. Alright, sorcerer boy. I need an explanation, Joseph. No? Uh, what did you want to know? Why did you, you torture? You tormented Usha to get the knowledge you were after. Why? She refused to tell me what I needed. I was trying to find another way, but until the spell was found, I used more mundane methods. Like pouring acid on her? It was stubborn. No longer human. I was forced to try everything. Every time I recreated her, she told me I didn't deserve the knowledge. I found the laboratory, Joseph. The one used to raise dead from the ashes and salt. So then you understand why I need Usha's body. She knows what we both need. The way inside Kotiganar. You revived the dead, then tortured them. That's an abomination. Do not rush to judgment, Reed. They had their time. Would you truly value one old life over the suffering of millions? They're not even human. Those specters, monstrosities, they are just the vessels of their former knowledge. You can't compare them to the living. Tell me about I Raymond. you had a deal with Raymond, the man who brought you the mummy. What happened to him? Nothing he didn't deserve. This newcomer, he was only interested in treasure. It's his fault who is after us now. He's her toy now. Possessed and tormented. But it was you who let this happen. Me? I did not free her. And for Kay's sake, why should I risk everything to save an imbecile? My mission is of far greater importance. Usha made me a proposal. She's willing to help me get inside Katiganor. What? Surely not. It must be a trap. You didn't even ask me what she wanted in return. I fear I know already. She wants me dead. Dane, she's using you, Reed. She knows I'm the only one who can stop her. I have already prepared the Ungwent to prevent her resurrection. Please, can't we just finish this as planned? Now calm down, Joseph. I'm not fool enough to believe a blood-sucking monster. Just thought you ought to know. Okay. Oh, you scared me for a moment. But if we're finished here, you should probably continue your search. I know where Usha is. It's the same crypt that Raymond was diving in. So, she returned to the tomb. Fine, we'll strike now. Prepare your guns. What's the plan? I've formulated an elixir that should damage her unnatural body. Coat your bullets in it, and go and slay the monstrosity. Just don't forget to collect her ashes afterwards. I'll prepare everything we need and wait nearby. Soon we'll both have our answers. Hmm. Well, I didn't end up killing him. I mean, it's kind of 10 to 1, half dozen to the other, isn't it? 12 to 1, half dozen to the other. So... I mean, everybody's rotten. They're all bad. So, in her tomb, entrance is in the cemetery marked with the five-finger-shaped five stones. 
All right, well, let's see where the cemetery is. I thought the cemetery was in Reed Heights. Am I, uh... I'm pretty sure that's where the cemetery is. So if we go to Al Hazred here. All right, well, let's go. grenade, some more ammo. I was thinking about killing him, but then it's just like, yeah, she's bad too. He can kill her, then I could kill him later. I don't know, I assume I'll probably end up killing both of them just because he'll want, like, the secrets and then I'll have to get rid of him too. What's your problem? So, where is my... Let's see if we can get to her tomb. Tomb is down here. Oh, right in there. Sir, I hope that angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Okay, what happened? Something happened? Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If, if I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. But, but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired. I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. Yeah, I'll I help, help you, you if I find... I'm quite experienced at finding people. Alive. Usually. Oh, thank the angels, kind sir. I'll... I'll repay you. I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. Oh, there's like a case here? Oh, brother. So can I just climb this fence? Well... Five fingered stones, eh? That's what we're looking for. And any bodies that happen to be lying about. Actually, a fairly big area. Well, let's head over here. This was some... we were at this house before, weren't we? So they put 
put funny word, funny uh, things on the tombstones. All right, well. This has got to be the place here. The blood is almost soaked into the soil. There's five, there's some fingered stones there. And there's a first aid kit just lying, lying there. Holy crow. Holy. Got ourselves a lot of bullets for that machine gun. We're pretty much loaded up. Could use another grenade, that's about it, I think. Just kind of exploring here for a second. We should probably end this episode here, and so then we'll take her on next episode. Alright. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. This has been The Terrible Old Man, and uh, I'm your host, The Man from Ling. If you enjoyed this content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromling at gmail.com. I am also on Twitter at manfromling. Charles Reed and I will be back with more Sinking City. We will be taking on Usha. I hope that you will tune in then. Until that time, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there. Take care.